Okay, um, we're looking at problem 3.1 from lecture 3. Um, it's a rocket and it's on a ramp and the question asks um, how much work is done on the rocket by friction and aerodynamic drag which are non-conservative forces um, between uh, its starting position and when it leaves the ramp. So we can First of all, just kick off by drawing the ramp, and we'll call this position position one, so that's when it's at rest, and when it leaves the ramp, we'll call it position two. Okay, um, so because this has got non-conservative forces in it, we're gonna use the expression for uh, the principle of work and energy with non-conservative forces, which is at the end of, um, well, we introduce it in lecture three, so let's go to lecture three. And you can see that, here it is, we've got the potential energy plus kinetic energy plus the work done on the system, on so in this case the rocket by non-conservative forces, is equal to the potential energy and the uh, kinetic energy at position two. So let's just write that out here. So V1 plus, and instead of kinetic energy, I'll use T, just to make it simpler, plus V1 two is equal to V2 plus T2. So we want to find those things. Um, some are pretty easy to determine. So, for example, this is the potential energy, um, and we'll create a datum here. So, the potential energy at position one, so it's, we'll call it state one, is zero because it's uh, obviously on the ground. And when it gets to this position, it's got a height of, what does it say in the question? It's got a height of, oops two meters. So two meters. So the potential energy at two is equal to M G H two, which is equal to the mass is two fifty times nine point eight one times two. So quickly do a sum. Two fifty times nine point eight one times two equals two no, sorry, 4.9 kilonewton meters. So that's V1 and V2 done. Initially, it's at rest, it's a rocket. We're starting it, so we're starting the rocket, so then it's going to take off at a different speed. Um, it leaves the ramp at 52 meters per second. So let's write down that V2 equals 52 meters per second. So we can work out what the kinetic energy is when it leaves the ramp, because the expression for kinetic energy is half mv2 squared equals half times, what's the mass again, 250, yep, times 52 squared. So 250 divided by two is 125 times 52 squared. That gives us a much larger energy than potential energy at position two it's 338 kilonewton meters so it must get that energy by a very large work done uh, on the rocket through the thrust but there's also some of that is being taken away so we'll lump the thrust in with the with all the non-conservative forces so u12 is equal to so this is the work done on the rocket between position one and position two. Um, and that's not not including conservative forces, obviously. So that's the thrust force times distance. So it's a constant force in the direction of motion. We can just use force times distance. So the thrust, thrust is 45 times 23. Uh, and the distance it travels is 10. So that's force thrust force times distance. That's given you the 
work done and it's positive because it's obviously increasing the kinetic energy of the rocket now we can put in the bit that we don't know and we're trying to find out in this question which is uf which is the, the frictional force sorry not the frictional force the work done by friction and aerodynamic uh, drag clamped together so we've got each of these terms now which go into this equation here and I can so I'll make that substitution and I'm going to risk doing this in my head well, not in my head but do the rearrangement here so uf once I've put substituted this into there is going to give me well I take well v1 and v2 are both zero so I'll take the 45 times 10 to the plus 3 times 10 to the other side. So that's 45 e to the 3 times 10. e to the 3 just means times 10 to the power 3. Um, and v2 from the our workings earlier, that's 4.9 e to the 3 plus 338 e to the 3. And that's our answer. That's um minus 107 kilo newton meters and that's negative because obviously this the the um work done on the rocket is negative because it removes energy from the system uh, because it's a non conservative force well the the combined action of friction and aerodynamic drag so that was a simple one um, okay, let's get this back down.